Hello there, and welcome back to Sofa Squad. Hello. Yes, so, Flick and 42. Now we're going to try to play some Yogg. Are you ready to choose your own adventure? Oh, am I ever. But I'm totally sitting at, I'm, I'm keeping my finger on a page. <laughs> Come on, don't tell me you never did that. Every single time. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, okay, so I'm thinking it's whoever picks last goes first, so. Okay, so. This time I will play as the Green Man. Holy shit. Harumph. Who would you like to play as? Oh, I'll play the little, the little witch girl. Blue? Yeah. Little blue. Alright. Harvey Porter ain't got shit on me. <laughs> The Yogg will be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not a one of us. We just keep on living our lives, week by week, unaware. Really bad. So, where would you like to go? I think I shall go to the Alchemy Tower. And do what? Let's clean the lab. Spend the week cleaning of noxious chemicals. I've paid one wealth for my labor and gained one physique and one magic. One day an artificer stops by for a visit. She is adorned with magical gadgets and gizmos and is followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. Neat. Mm -hmm. Alchemists all go... Uh, uh, the alchemists of the terror all go out, to, out of their way to impress the artificer, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. As she's leaving, she adorns the most charming of the alchemists with a special trinket. The fact that you didn't choose you is a very humbling experience. Hm, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can't one charm. Well, I'm thinking yeah. the correct ants. His path should probably go over here. So, <laughs> we're gonna go over here. Nice. We shall tend to the patients. You spend a week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day a patient comes in the hospital sores that no one has ever seen before. Those look like bite marks. I've seen where the sands. Oh god. Those are bathtub burns. While walking by his bedside, he looks to you and rudely asks for a glass of water. I know where this ends, going, getting him water, so I'm going to see what happens when you ignore him. That's not very nice. He's not very... Despite your intentions to ignore him, you find yourself completely unable to resist obeying the this man's request. <laughs> you bring him a small glass of water to quench his thirst. He takes a large sip, swings around, and then throws it in your face. You try dodging the water, but something inside your mind paralyzes you from doing so. Uh... That night, when you get home, you feel dizzy and start having vivid hallucinations about ancient wizards. You gain three magic. You got ancient. You lose three mind. Derp. They say the last time it came. The Yogg devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. This time, I think, I shall visit uh, the palace. We shall attend the ball. I am the bell of the ball. Kind of. I spend the week gathering fancy gatherings. Attending fancy gatherings. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I gain two charm and one finesse. One day you are over here the jester tell a joke to a group of people. Everyone laughs, but I didn't understand the joke at all. Because I'm drunk. I shall ask for an explanation. I approach the jester and ask him what exactly the joke meant. He scolds me at length about the dangers of explaining jokes. Dick bags. Something about puppies and them dying when you dissect them. I don't understand. Then everyone around me starts to laugh. So I murder them all. <laughs> Presumably the jester had just made another joke at your expense. I'm humiliated and mocked. I lose. That makes me sad. I lose one charm. Yes. All right. So let's go. Let's go meditate a little. 
So I got a little water splash on me. You spend the week in deep meditation. Okay, one match me too much. Over the course of to assault the earth. <laughs> <laughs> over the course of the week, you notice yourself growing more and more spiral-shaped sores all over your body. Busted. One day, the sores begin to glow a vibrant blue. You feel your magical power grow even stronger while your mind slips further and further. Gain three magic. Lose three mind. You are the derpiest wizard ever. In no time, the sores are glowing so bright that they hurt to look at. Someone rushes up to you, asking if you're alright. With only a glance, you set him aflame. Ooh. Then you let out a scream that shakes the earth and shatters the skulls of all nearby. A river of blood coats the ground as you walk about, reveling in your destruction. You black out. So you're the Yahweh. When you come to, you're home in your bed. Your sores have faded, and it feels like the disease symptoms have passed. Yeah. I think you were the thing. I, I'll have to... It, there are words to be had. It was, it was in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook, the air went still. No, I saw that one from the friend zone when they played it. Mm. They banned it. There are events that take out these. So, see, now we're forbidden from going to the garden because I kind of murdered everybody there. <laughs> they managed to take out three sections. Bookie boy. All right, um, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go Alchemy Tower again. I'm going to brew potions. Brew a potion. Potions. I spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. I gain two magic and one mind. One day, while in the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his potion while, while he's out. Soon after he leaves, the potion begins bubbling out of control. If I don't do something soon, it'll explode. I can tell you what the good path is, and I can tell you what the bad path is. I don't need your answers. But you do want to see what happens? I'm going to throw it out the window. Yes! I toss the potion out the window and watch its contents empty into the town's water supply. Quick thinking. I gain one mind. I take the day off early. Hope nobody finds out. <laughs> Yeah, about that. <laughs> you spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. Gain two, one, gain two mind and earn one wealth. <laughs> one day, you hear a spooky sound echoing through the hospital. Soon afterwards, a glowing blue ghost floats down through the ceiling. She seems to be wandering the halls aimlessly, howling at out horrible noises. That's bad. She doesn't appear to realize that she is freaking everyone out. Yes. You decide to do something about it. See, if I had the charm, I would love to talk her out of this. But because I am not charmful, pew pews. <laughs> With a wave of your hand, you fire off magic bolt. The ghost lets out a wail as the bolt pierces her heart. She slowly fizzles out of existence. Dick. Target practice. Gain one magic. Yeah, a little bit, but I don't I'm not charmful enough. Dick, 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 dick. And then the world was howling fury, chaos, screaming. The sound all we knew being pulled in half. I, I think I am going to go to the arena. And I shall compete. Compete? Compete. That's what I said. Compete. I shall spend, I spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. I gain two physique and one finesse. During a match, another warrior's weapon is knocked from their grasp. I barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, it destroys the knee of a nearby bystander. He accuses me of causing him harm by not stopping the flying weapon. He takes me to court. I shall defend myself. The fool and his client, right? Yeah, something like that. I object, but I can't seem to convince the judge, because the judge is a dick. I have to do community service. There's some more physique and fit and finesse. Oh, unfortunately, the boring task takes a toll on me mentally. I lose one mind. Let's see now. Let's see now. Charm would be good. But I'm slowly recovering my mind. Mm. 
Let's go fight crime a little. Fight crime. <laughs> you are bad ginger. <laughs> you spend the week out smarting and beating up criminals. In one mind, physique, and finesse. One night you hear cheering coming from an alleyway. Peering in, you see a crowd of men cheering a dog violently ripping each other apart. One of the men spots you and asks, Oi, would you like to participate in our little betting game? Come on, bad ginger. You try to stop the dog fights. You try to convince the gamblers that the dog fighting's wrong. Your words fall on deaf ears. Very quickly, they get angry with you. One of them walks up to you and pulls out a knife. You don't feel like you got the strength to speak the next guy. You run away, hoping to keep the follow. Yeah, if only I was more charming. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? What did we forget? The last time this happened. This happened before. Son of a bitch. Um. It was so long ago, it was lost to the ages. It was last week. Now, uh... Yeah, if you actually notice, the fog's actually rolling in. Fuck. Back to the tower! Locking yourself up in the tower? I shall brew a potion. <coughs> I spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. I gain two magic and one mind. One day I hear cries or help coming from the next room. Running over to investigate, I see that the alchemists have accidentally created an ooze monster. How do I dispatch it? I shall blast it with magic! Pew pew! I pulverize the ooze into a puddle with an array of magical spells. I was kind of hoping you'd try to punch it. Not gonna lie. That's dumb. Yes. Yes it is. The alchemist salt here. I gain one charm. Come on, derp golf. <laughs> Ganderp. There we go. That should be it. Ganderp? Ganderp. Uh, let's just clean up. From all the messes I've been making. <laughs> you spend the week stealing your mind against the horrors of a hospital, making sure it's clean as it can be. Gain one mind, physique, and one wealth. Fancy. One day, in the maternity ward, you notice a woman about to give oh, birth. Oh, you. The woman she births is no ordinary baby, however. Uh-oh. Its skin is pitch black sh and shiny. Its eyes glow like an orange flame. It wrestles itself away from the doctor's hands and tries to fly away. You let loose a demon. Stop that demon, yells the doctor. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, no shit. With a wave of your hand, you put up a magical barrier blocking the exit. The demon bounces right off it and collapses onto the ground. <laughs> Quick thinking. You gain one mind. The doctor rushes over it with a scalpel, quickly slits the demon's throat. Your mouth goes agape at the doctor's merciless killing of a baby. He shrugs and walks away. Clean it up, bitch. <laughs> the yog, it's almost here. Almost. Almost. Ooh. See? More fog. More fog. Today, I... I shall go to the palace do administration work. I spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. I am paid two wealth and gain one mind. One day the court jester approaches me. Oh, dick bag. Would you like to learn to juggle? He asks excitedly. I'll teach you everything I know for a small sum. I have the money, why not? Sure. I spend the day with the jester practicing juggling. I improve dramatically. I gain two finesse. Bet. And another two! Mm -hmm. I happily pay the jester for his services. I lose one wealth. I'm, oh, you're a, I'm a nimble motherfucker. To the alchemy tower! <laughs> That's enough. That, I get paid money, so I want stats. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. Gain two magic and one mind. One day, the alchemists decide to throw a break from work and instead throw a cantrip party. One of the alchemists waves his hand and proceeds to confetti in front of him. Another spawns a seemingly endless number of doves from his sleeves. Then the alchemists all turn to see what you can come up with. Well, I got the stance. Let's be complex. With a snap of your fingers, you bring a chair to life. You sit atop it and ride it around the room. Fuck yeah. Everybody else is quite impressed. You gain two charm. 
The storm arrives in the night. By morning, it still rages. For a full three days, a tempest puts us through the grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then in the end, we see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? Recommends you to be the smelter. I would say no to that. Because you need money to be the smelter. Uh, I... I don't have enough mind or magic to do... Um... To be the conjurer, you, maybe the... I should be the builder. Alright. I take it upon myself to help rebuild the town by hand. I rebuild the homes fairly quickly and efficiently. This helps the rebuilding effort a lot. Alright. Yeah, those are kind of my... Mind and magic are kind of my best stats, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be the conjurer. You take it upon yourself to help conjure up supplies for the town. With your magic, you summon supplies of the highest caliber. What are you, Batman? Come on. With little effort, you're summoning high-quality lumber and food out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. This helps me rebuilding, up, rebuilding effort significantly. And so, we set about our tasks, once more living our lives. This time, in a way we might never have expected, or even wanted. But in the end... It was a struggle, but a struggle we never abandoned. Though our homes have been stripped apart, we did not let it languish. And whether we succeed or fail, we did our best. Who knows if the Yogg will visit us again? Who knows if we can ever be, can ever be, ready for it? New Ganding! Yay! Yay! Things aren't quite shit. We kind of rebuild. <laughs> we rebuild and it's not all oh, shitty. While the town is being rebuilt, I spend more and more time in the Alchemy Tower. My potion brewing abilities quickly become the best in the world. My health and mana potions are considered world-class delicacies with people venturing far and wide to buy them. But I never knew, learn how to brew a love potion. Sad. While the town is being rebuilt, you go into the hospital to retake your role as custodian. Your job isn't glamorous, but you make it better by poking fun at the doctors with witty one-liners. They often have a clever retort to your jokes, and the back and forth is well-paced and punchy. One day, a patient, who's also a playwright, asks permission to write a play about your life. You happily accept. The play becomes an instant hit, and you become a celebrity for a brief moment in time. You still clean up blood vomit for a living, however. But for one moment, I... You had your moment of shame. Shining, thank you very we're, we're skipping the part when I blew up the garden, okay? <laughs> See, at least mine, they couldn't prove it. <laughs> See, that one actually ends, it can, if that happens soon enough, it can end terribly by mutating, like, everybody. Nice! And downgrades it. I think that's why we didn't get the very good ending, mm. was because of that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but, I'll have to save it for next time. So, until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.